came up to me, he's like, oh, I found the culprit. What the f dude? What does that mean? A culprit? Like there's something wrong with what we're doing? What did you just ask me? Do you want a monster for the road? Oh. <laughs> Again? <laughs> yeah. This is becoming right a trend. Okay. We have... Oh, snap. I like that purple. Purple. Yeah. Purple it is. Thanks, man. Cheers. <laughs> Good morning. It's 6.59. We're here at our house uh, just outside Flagstaff. The team is all loading up this morning. Some people have already left. I'm about to head up to Arizona Snowball. We have our uh, vertical K this morning, so that starts at 10.30. And... Um, a bunch of the rest of these guys are finishing up course marking, they're dropping supplies at aid stations, and uh, all that good stuff. I'm pretty sore today. Uh, being out on the trails for like eight and a half hours yesterday did a number on me. Uh, didn't get a whole lot of climb in, but uh, just a great day, uh, time on feet. So anywho, it's looking to be a really awesome day. It's great weather, and uh, it's gonna be fun chasing these guys uh, with my camera on the VK. That's my plan for for this morning. And we're kicking things off tomorrow with the rest of the race. Right, it's 9.55, the vertical K kicks off here in 35 minutes. A lot of people are arriving, hanging out, doing their warm ups. And uh, that's about it. I'm gonna be chasing people around with um, this rig over here. It's just gonna be really heavy. I'm gonna try and go all the way to the very top with, uh, with everyone. I just did the pre-race briefing for the Sky Race, and we're kicking things off here in just a couple minutes. Like I said, I'm going to be filming this thing. I'm going to try and make my way to the top, and uh, yeah, get some of the crazy downhill sections. Six, five, four. Out here on the VK course, the lead guys are just up ahead. Killing it, got more guys below. Doing some filming here. It's freaking awesome. Getting up near the midway station, which is the top of the second downhill. <sighs> it's brutal. Midway station here. These guys are being a little rowdy. Um, getting some killer footage. It's gonna be so awesome. Uh, I'm now heading over. There's a, a dip down, another dip down in the VK that I'm bypassing and gonna get people on the final ascent now going up the upper volcano ski run. Let's see if there's anyone coming up right now.
All right, I'm uh, back to the Midway Station, and all the runners are just about to the top now, which is good. I am going to now remark for tomorrow's races. So I'm going to be picking up some of these pin flags from Lower Volcano Ski Run, and then beefing up the uh, section around Midway because they they don't go on this part tomorrow. Ooh wee! Made it back just in time for the awards. Let's see who's here. Uh, I'm the last one here from the team. Uh, they are all at Packet Pickup. We just wrapped up the VK and I'm heading into town. So uh, we're starting in Flagstaff tomorrow and this is our finish line. So I won't be back up here till tomorrow after. No, oh, mid morning actually. Just an awesome day. The VK was a lot of fun and uh, definitely got in a little bit of vert. I think at least 3000 feet chasing people around with the camera. Here's the uh, staging area all set up and ready. Got USATF uh, Mountain Ultra Trail. There's a selection. This is a selection race, the 39K, for the World Mountain Running Long Distance Championship. So, top guy and gal will get an invite to the to the world team, which is pretty cool. All right, guys, back at it. I think it's uh, 5:30 now, marking the first mile of the race course. Save this to the very end since it's kind of near this neighborhood, so has less chance of being pulled. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is what RDing is all about. Dawn to dusk. Look at how different this section of the trail is going up Elden Lookout. It's like these desert looking shrubs. There's just junipers. There's no pine trees here. It's kind of crazy the diversity of Flagstaff. There's even cactus at this elevation. See if I can find some to show you guys. Anywho, wanted to reflect real quick. A little, a little get real moment. <laughs> uh, no, things can get stressful for sure at these events. Things don't go exactly to plan. And uh, you can get caught up in head down, stressed out. But right now, I just feel like calm. And just reflecting being outside in this amazing area and... It's all gonna work out and uh, even though there's like traffic and noise below me here it's pretty peaceful right now and uh, just definitely thankful for being out here and getting the chance to put on these events for all you guys or all the runners that are out here hopefully you guys watching someday you'll, you'll come and join us so uh, that's it I'm just watching literally the last bit of light leaving these mountain tops and these trees below and um, I've got a little bit more to go up one last junction to check and then I'll be about a mile and a half back down to the truck and uh, and carry on with I guess the more stressful things in life so hopefully you guys aren't too stressed out out there and uh, you guys are all doing well so thanks for tuning in I'm gonna carry on hopefully find that cactus that would be cool first off that's amazing second off I just think I found some coarse vandalism our other course markers went through here earlier and there's this super critical important junction down here and there isn't a single sign at it also very curiously this guy below he came up to me he's like oh i found the culprit what the f dude what does that mean a culprit like there's something wrong with what we're doing jesus so anyways here's the junction in question there's nothing here i wonder if um so they might have taken them and just packed them out, or they might have just thrown them off. I wouldn't be surprised. There's uh, grumpy people over here. We had this area vandalized before. So I wonder if I can find the stakes and the uh, course markers just like off. Because otherwise they'd have to put them in their backpack and pack them out. Which seems kind of like a lot of effort. But I'm going to have to now go continue on and... Uh, see if there's any more. I went up a little ways towards Elden Lookout and it looks like those ones are still there, but um, yeah, these ones are definitely gone. And I don't see any sign of them. The only thing I do see was just this one wrong way marker ribbon, which is like right here. So I'm gonna have to mark the crap out of this thing um, and uh, remark it. Thank, uh, thankfully I brought supplies with me. All right, this is what a properly marked junction should and probably did look like. 
So I did confirm from my guys that were out here, they marked the heck out of this junction with pin flags and ribbons and signs. So this was vandalized and that's pretty crazy. I found it uh, and we're gonna be able to, we're gonna check the other part tomorrow morning cause I gotta get out of here before it gets dark. Um, pretty crazy, pretty wild guys, but I'm so glad I was out here to, to find this and, uh, and to rectify the situation. Carry on with that conversation. I mean, it's dark now, as you can see, I'm still making my way back. But uh, I was just reflecting how peaceful everything was, how nice it was, and then boom, we have that course marking vandalism. And then I also just found out that when our trail markers went up and over Eldon, they cut across the Sunset Trail, which the intended course goes up and over the lookout tower to the very top. It gets a little bit more elevation gain and it's just, you actually summit Eldon. So they, uh, they didn't get very good maps. So it's, you know, partially my fault. Um, so I'm gonna have to go, go do that tonight. I'm gonna have to drive up to uh, the top of Eldon and do another run up there of probably a couple miles uh, to fix that situation. Um, I might just go out and do the other part as well that's, uh, that's been vandalized and just make sure this course is just absolutely solid tonight um, before, before sunrise, which um, this race is just too important for all the athletes. There's prize money on the line, there's series points at the line. So we gotta make sure this thing is just in tip top shape. So yeah, we're out here burning the candle. Uh, make sure this thing's ready to go. Um, let's check in for now. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure I'll be back. This video doesn't seem like it's gonna be ending anytime soon today. It just keeps getting more and more adventurous. So such is the steep life, uh, as we already know. It's gonna be a little bit more exciting and uh, hopefully a little bit more worth it. Um, I know I'm, I love the adventure. I, I kind of like what goes wrong. It's kind of fun to see how you, you deal with it. So I'm just gonna take a deep breath everything's gonna be okay and uh i'm gonna soldier on hey guys it's uh just past 11 o'clock i've been at the house for a couple hours uh taking care of just some logistics stuff and um even some stuff for events beyond bike sky race that i've been needing to do right now i'm headed out to double check that course vandalism that we discovered earlier um hopefully it's not too severe but i'm gonna have to go and uh, at least run probably at least a mile out to see um, if you know the next junction was pulled or not and then uh, I'm gonna go from there see if I have to keep going to the next and the next and the next so I've got, I've got that loaded up and um, then I'm gonna have to drive to the top of the mountain and and fix and reroute um, the Elden Summit climb as well so um, probably gonna be at least a few hours worth of work here so probably not gonna be much sleeping tonight all right, rolling in the uh, the F-350 here tonight. And uh, the full moon is out, so that's gonna be pretty cool. Um, I don't know, I kinda like doing this kind of stuff. It's pretty fun, gets me out there, and um, yeah, I'm gonna make sure this course is as well marked as possible. What up, guys? It is close to midnight right now. I'm uh, about a half mile out uh, down on the course here, checking these markings. And I got to the first junction, and there are still markings here. It's a really good thing to hear. Um, so it looks like maybe they just vandalized the one junction. So I'm here at Christmas Tree in Sandy Seep. As you can see, um, there's a pin flag. There's still a yellow arrow. I actually installed a secondary one. And then if you look this way, you see orange, orange. It looks like they did rip, they might've ripped that one, which is weird that they left the rest of the stuff. So, um, anyways, I'm gonna add a couple more markers here. They're still wrong ways, uh, and maybe maybe call it good, and hopefully the rest of them are are fine. I might maybe I'll go like another quarter mile, just double check. So good news, the uh, maybe not quite as long of a night as I thought. Remember I said earlier I was gonna find some cactus. Well, I just found some. <laughs> Look at that. This vandal is kind of an asshole. He like ripped, just ripped the marker right there. And there was a couple where he just threw it on the ground. It's pretty freaking stupid. Yay! My stuff's still here. Made it back to this junction. Good to go. Yo guys, 
Uh, completed that spur, headed out on this other one to check. Look at this shit, dude. Look what I just found. Just freaking ribbons lying on the ground, mother That sucks. I'm gonna have to do this whole stretch now. Uh, just to make sure that uh, we're all good, because we ain't good right now. All right, just made it to the Heart Trail Junction. This is the one I was trying to get to. Uh, we've had this exact junction pulled before, so fortunately, look. Sign, wrong way sign, arrow, that's fine. And more flagging. So uh, I'm gonna head back to the truck now and then I gotta go up the mountain.